Are you sure this line is clean? Yeah, of course I'm sure. I better go. The Matrix is back. And at this point, before it's been released, we don't know much about the movie except that it takes place 20 years after the last film. Neo is taking a lot of blue pills these days, doesn't seem to know that he's Neo, and we know that at some point he does take the red pill. Time to fly. So it's only fitting that I design a Matrix cocktail with a red pill and a blue pill where you have an entirely different cocktail experience based on which pill you choose. But before we go down that rabbit hole, I have some very exciting news to share. Today, I am unveiling something that I've been working on for the past two years and I am incredibly proud of, Cocktail Chemistry, the book, featuring all new cocktails recreated from TV shows and movies and some of my favorite advanced techniques. This book has all new recipes not featured on the channel and amazing, beautiful photography. I'm so excited to share it with you guys coming out May of next year, and it's now available for pre-order. I'll put a link in the description below, and there's a special sweepstakes for people who pre-order. If you're a fan of the channel, I'd love for you to pre-order this, but more on that at the end of this video. Now let's make a cocktail. This is inspired by one of my favorite drinks of all time called the Pina Verde. So we're gonna start with one ounce or 30 mils of fresh pineapple juice. Pour that into a shaker. To add a bit more acidity, we're gonna do three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of fresh lime juice. And just like a pina colada, we're gonna add a bit of cream of coconut. It's not coconut cream, and it's not coconut milk, cream of coconut. This stuff is super sweet, it's gonna give us most of our sugar to balance this out, three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils. Now we're gonna make a special ingredient inspired by the banana phone. Remember that? This is banana milk. It's exactly what it sounds like. Take a relatively ripe banana, pour in one cup of milk, or about 230 mils, and then a bit of vanilla extract, like half a teaspoon. Blend that on high. You can store it in the fridge for up to three days or so. This stuff is great on coffee, but here we're gonna use it in the cocktail. It's gonna pair really well with the coconut and pineapple. We're just gonna do about half an ounce or 15 mils. All right, we're not making a smoothie here, so let's finally add some booze to this. We're gonna add some high proof rum, one ounce or 30 mils. You know it wouldn't be a Matrix cocktail without a bit of green, so we're gonna do one half ounce or 15 mils of green chartreuse. We're just gonna add some nice herbal notes. Shake that with ice for about 15 seconds to chill, dilute it, mix everything together, get a little froth in there. Then grab a rocks glass with a few ice cubes and we're gonna double strain the whole thing into the glass. It's gonna be a little thick, so you might have to shake it out a little bit. Okay, after this, there's no turning back. You select the blue pill. It's filled with nutmeg and cinnamon. You sprinkle it on the cocktail. The next day you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Or you take the red pill and you stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole go. Okay, we're doing the blue pill, it looks like. Not very adventurous of you, but um, let's give it a taste. Cinnamon and nutmeg on the top of this cocktail. Pretty classic combination. Cheers, Mr. Anderson. Clearly I can't decide if I want to be Agent Smith or Morpheus, but my God, this drink is phenomenal. There are a ton of flavors working together here, and it all comes together wonderfully. The chartreuse is there, but not too overpowering. The coconut, the pineapple, the banana, and that nutmeg and cinnamon, it's just perfect on the nose, makes it feel like a holiday cocktail. This is awesome. Okay, due to a glitch in the matrix, we have a chance to go back and try this cocktail again with the red pill. This is definitely the more adventurous choice filled with cayenne pepper and smoked paprika. Now I'm pretty skeptical, this is gonna be good. Spicy, smoky, herbal, fruity, boozy. I mean, there's a lot going on here. But I am always down for trying a spicy cocktail. And to deny our own impulses is to deny the very thing that makes us human, right? And yeah, this drink is insane in a very good way. The smokiness from the paprika hits you right on the nose right away. And then that brings in some of the banana flavor actually, surprisingly. And the herbal notes from the chartreuse come in right with the pineapple. And then it kind of finishes with that spicy cayenne pepper. The man said it best. Thanks for watching y'all. If you're a longtime fan of the channel or someone who just stumbled upon this video, I think you're gonna really love this book. 
Here I've got a preview edition. The final will be a beautiful hardcover. This book is, at its core, all about recreating delicious cocktails from TV shows and movies, but also looking at amazing variations from that and some advanced techniques to go along with it. For example, we learn how to recreate Bond's Vesper Martini from Casino Royale, as well as the science behind dilution and why you should stir instead of shake. I also talk about how the Vesper is kind of a crappy drink, so how do you make the perfect martini instead? I also give simple instructions on how to do some really advanced techniques at home. So it's a fun book for people just getting started with making cocktails at home or looking for something more advanced. Again, this is coming in May next year and available to pre-order right now in the link below. Make sure to save your receipts to enter into some fun giveaways we're doing early next year. Cheers.